And so we try to leverage those stories from farmers and ranchers, uh, the, not from our, our direct members, the lenders, but from, the, from their customers at the end of the line to help tell that story. And it's, it's part of a collective effort to tell the story of American agriculture, which dozens of trade associations do in Washington. Uh, and, and we tie in that piece uh, about how capital intensive it is and, and how reliable credit is really important in, in farming and ranching. Because uh, again, Jake, to your point, there's a lot of noise, there's a lot competing for the attention. And so we're always looking for ways to leverage technology to remain relevant, to build reputational equity up there, and, 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 and to protect farm credit reputation. And so what we do is we leverage those customer stories. We have video stories, we have written stories that, that talk about the, that farmer, that rancher's experience, what it was like to get to where they are, what it was like to start out, what it was like to transition from one generation to the next, um, what it was like to start from scratch. And, and those stories, then we deliver on social media up to Capitol Hill. And we do it through a combination of, of organic and paid social posts um, on a variety of different platforms. But we want to be sure we're reaching our intended audience. You know, we, we often talk about we're not interested in, in buying a, a radio ad in D.C. because there's a lot of waste there. We're not looking to educate everybody in Washington, D.C. Uh, we're looking to educate a very small subset of, of, of people. And that's where we try to leverage social media to dial into that audience and make sure they are hearing our messaging. They are seeing the farmers and ranchers that are the face of American agriculture. That's it. You have a lot of farm organizations out there. Sometimes the names sound kind of familiar. And so it's important to find a way to differentiate yourself. Um, that always stirs a good bit of conversation, as you might imagine. Uh, but it, but it really is a, about leveraging that technology. And, and uh, I, whether or not you agree that that ought to be possible, it currently is, and currently is legal. And so I'm all about using whatever we can to be as effective as possible. And uh, and, and so it, it's you know it's geofencing, and and it really is dialing in on those very specific buildings or those blocks that those buildings sit on to, to capture the individuals that are there for, say, three or four days out of the week, what have you. Um, it doesn't matter if you don't have the right words. Words are everything, and you have to have that message dialed in. You have to have it ready for the right audience. And, and, and Joe, as you know, you've got to have that user experience nailed, nailed down. As they click on an ad and go to a landing page, does it take too long? They're going to bounce. Is there a different imagery or they're going to be confused why they are there once they get to the landing page? They're going to bounce. Uh, do you have a bunch of text and no pictures? They're going to bounce. Uh, you need to think about that whole user experience to, to try to get them to that website. And then hopefully, you know, that golden goose of a moment where they might even actually then click on another page and start exploring. <clears throat> Content is king and you can never have too much of it. Uh, we are extremely fortunate our member organizations provide us with a lot of customer stories. Um, and we're also fortunate because they're, they're not creating them just for us, which is an awfully big ask. Yeah. They're, they're using them on the ground in their marketing efforts sure. uh, when they're talking about what they're doing and when they're trying to attract new customers. And so it has that dual purpose, which is really, really an important aspect there because you don't ever want to ask and ask and ask and ask from your members. You want there to be the symbiotic relationship whenever there can. Describe so, a day in the life or, or whatever will be impactful because uh, I know from working on Capitol Hill, personal stories resonate incredibly well. And, and personal stories are what that lawmaker then takes to his caucus and says, yeah, I know we're talking about crop insurance, but I just met with a farmer and, and their family wouldn't have been back in business this year because of a freak hailstorm or my gosh, the drought this year or something else happening. And so when you can when you can put a face and a story behind that policy, that's really important. And that's that's really what, what it's all about. And it's the kind of work we love doing. 